All right, guys, welcome back to Number Nine Farm. I wanted to show you guys today we got a new toy that we've been waiting on for about a year, and we've done four batches in our Harvest Right freeze dryer so far, so we kind of feel like we're getting the hang of everything. I'll do a little unboxing video kind of thing and show you start to finish later, but today we're going to freeze dry our bell peppers, our Marconis, and that's pretty much it. So what we got here, we've washed them and sliced them. This is our second time we've ran these. And the first time we got seven half gallon jars full of freeze dried peppers. And we can't say it, it's very simple to use. It's really no thinking about it. You just put everything in and let it go. The machine does everything for you. Of course, we've already done some candies and marshmallows and gummy bears. And now, and, and pickles. And pickles, of course. <laughs> and I kind of feel like now we got the hang of it. And blackberries Black and mangoes and pineapples. Yes, and we haven't done any strawberries yet, but we're going to. We've done bananas too. Oh, yeah, the banana chips were a big hit. And then we'll start doing they some. They didn't even last. Two days. No, there was no need to put those in a jar. They got <laughs> ate so much. So, so basically, we have a five tray, which is a large, and we got the premium pump. We didn't go with the oilless pump. Um, Dave at Harvest Right. Dave talked, Barlow. Dave Barlow talked us into this one, and he was right. It's absolutely quiet. It is nowhere near noisy. Um, so once. You got your five trays in there. You put your little door in here to block the cold. Okay. It's a very simple operation. Set your date, run your test. Okay. And you go start. We will go not frozen. Of course. And we have to close the drain valve, which... Well, uh, one day Bruce didn't do that. I did not do that one time. <laughs> so, that was a good learning lesson, because right. now he doesn't forget. Nope, you gotta learn. Alright, and we'll go continue. And there you go. And it did take the last batch, so we did it just as piled up. It took, what, 42 or 48? 48 hours to do it last time. So it's an easily, I think this machine does 16 pounds every time, every batch. So, and we'll come back in 48 hours and show you guys the result. We do have the ones we did last time. It's, and we got seven half gallon jars full of them. Yeah, and they are so good with hummus, just like chips. It's just like eating a potato it, and chip. And our boys are even, even eating it too because they like it's sweet. It's just because of sweet peppers. But this is what's left of the blackberries. This is what's left of the candies because, of course, they were a big hit. And these are the pickles. And uh, no pickles. Oh, the marshmallows. Right there, and then we've got some poblanos that we did already. But I don't be eating those chips. No. Bruce can have those. Very delicious. <laughs> and yeah. we've got some marshmallows to do again. Yeah, we're excited. And all the peppers that we're doing, we're trying to finish out everything that's in our high tunnel and greenhouse this year so we don't lose it before our first frost. So we have been dehydrating. Yeah, like, um, like I want to show you this. I dehydrated. These are all the Marconis and the um, red peppers and um, green peppers. That's just straight dehydrated um, half gallon jars, two of them. And I chopped those up in the uh, food processor and then dehydrated them. And now I've got um, tons of, uh, what is all the peppers I got in there? Peach, Peach. Jaloka. Yeah. yeah. And, um, I can't remember. Uh, Trinidad scorpions, you got ghosts. And chocolate habaneros. Chocolate habaneros. We have tons of hot peppers. We haven't done so, any of the reapers Oh, and yet. I've got some Tabasco in there too. Yep. So, so there's our both. We have two dehydrators going. All right, guys. Well, we'll be back 
We're glad we can finally throw in a video here because we have been super busy trying to get everything done at the house and all the stuff out of the fields before the frost comes. All right, well thanks guys. I opened up this harvest right. It took us 42 hours, 42 and a half hours to do our peppers. So now I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna open the valve and drain the vacuum off. And then we're going to open the door. It's always exciting when you open the door. You get to see all your goodies. Alright. Okay. And it's still negative 29 degrees in there. Look at this. Perfect. And now we use these for our hummus and our dips, and it's absolutely delicious. And these are the red marconi and the regular uh, bell pepper. And there you have it, all five trays, all done. And we're gonna go ahead now and put them in um, jars with some oxygen absorbers there, 300 cc. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and remember, if you like and subscribe.